Hello everyone, so welcome to my review of the Maestro Series 15 set of brushes by Dartisson Shop. Um, I was ki very kindly sent these brushes to review and after using them for a while, I decided to make a speed paint as you will see in a second, showing me using these brushes so that you guys can have a good idea of how they work and maybe assess if they're going to be good for your needs. So these brushes, um, they come in a nice faux black case as you saw in the beginning when I was taking the brushes out. Um, there's 15 of the brushes and I'll read what it says on the packaging that it came in. So it says that these brushes have been designed to suit most painters from beginners right through to seasoned artists. Each brush is meticulously handcrafted by brush artisans using the finest quality materials. And these brushes are suitable for watercolor, acrylic, oil, gouache, and tempera painting, which I think is really great, especially if you are going into art school or if you're taking an AP art class because those classes require you to use many different mediums and you're gonna have to have decent brushes to use with those mediums and it can get a bit pricey. So these brushes, um, they retail for $69.98 for 15 brushes, and that would make each brush $4.66, which is a great deal. But if you go in the description box, there is a link down there that will bring you to their website, and you can send in your email, and they will send a coupon code to your email. And this coupon code decreases the price by around $30, so the new price would be $39.98, which is great. You're saving $30, that's amazing. And that would make the brushes to be about $2.99 per brush. And for the quality of these brushes, I think that is amazing. So I would highly recommend if you guys are planning on going to art school or you're planning on experimenting with many different mediums to so definitely go try out these brushes because they accommodate like every paint medium out there every type of paint out there so that's really great to be able to experiment and have brushes already there to use so that's my opinion of these brushes as a whole but now i'm going to focus on the watercolor brushes in particular because i primarily paint with watercolor. So, first I'm gonna point out what I like about the brushes. Um, they grab a nice amount of paint. So when I'm, I usually work with palettes and pans, and sometimes I work with tubes, tube paints, and they grab a nice amount of paint. So I notice whenever I painted with these, the colors would be more vibrant because there's more paint in the bristles than with other brushes. It also holds water well. So that's one thing you wanna kinda keep in mind when getting watercolor brushes that they should hold a good amount of water because watercolor paint only works if there is water and if your brush doesn't hold enough water or runs out of water quick the paint isn't going to act as kindly as you would want it to. And also the bristles aren't rough and also none of the bristles came out. Usually some of my other brushes the bristles come out like once every once in a while and it's not very fun. These none of the bristles have come, uh, have come out. And also they don't catch against the paper either. So watercolor paint tends to have a rough surface and these don't really catch on the surface that much which I think is really handy. And something I absolutely love specifically about the round brushes is that the round brushes come to a nice point. And I like that because I wanna add details. I don't always wanna to have to go grab one of my smaller detail brushes. It's nice to be able to do as much as you can with one brush. So the round brushes in particular have some really nice points. And after asking a question um, to the customer service or the support about how long these points will last, they said that um, they should hold for five to six months as long as you take proper care of your brushes. So I think that's pretty great. And honestly, I can't imagine these brushes completely dulling away because the brushes seem very strong. They have a nice spring to them when I'm doing like feathering type of effects or making flicking motions. They have a pretty nice spring. So I think these will last for a good amount of time, especially if you take good care of your brushes. And since it comes with a case that 
prevents the bristles from getting damaged, I think these brushes are going to last a long time. So, one of the dislikes, I only have one, and that would probably be the length of the actual brush itself. And it might just be a pet peeve with me, but I have small hands, so the brushes I think are about like about um, a foot long, or not a foot. Yeah, about a foot, I think. And that's just, I think, a little excessive in terms of length. I don't think a brush needs to be that um, long, but it could just be me, because when I use it, my small hands, the rest of the brush is, it just seems kind of excessive, but that's just me. So anyways, that kind of concludes my review of them. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the speed paint. I only used these brushes in the speed paint. I used two round brushes and two filbert brushes for this picture of Sailor Moon. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And remember to look in the description if you're interested. Um, I'll list some info there, as well as the link to get the coupon code. And I highly recommend that you guys check out these brushes. They're very nice. And that's about it. And I'll just let you guys watch the rest of the speed paint in peace. So, hope you have a nice day. Bye!